after the superb performance from Lee Chong Wei, we're now heading from men's singles to women's doubles. It's going to be uh, India's first medal in doubles. Joana Gooder and Ashwini Ponapa taking on Tian and Zhao later on today. But first up, we've got Wang Xiali and Wu Yang here up against Miyuku Maeda and Satako Suetsuna. Wang and Wu, the number one seeds. This is Japanese top women's doubles pair. Of course, there was three in the top seven seats. So the players out on the court. And it's going to be a, an interesting tale of two contrasting styles of women's doubles play. And they know it's these Japanese play. players, they've got a real task ahead of them to survive against. The, well, almost unbeatable, aren't they? The Chinese pair. The toss has uh, been done by Susan Taylor, the Australian umpire. So it's sooner they're closest to you, the 30 year old. She's recovered well from her knee operation. Here they are. Well, what could be said about this bear that hasn't been said already? World ranking number one. Look at that win-loss ratio this year. Look at that win-loss ratio over their career. They've only ever lost twice, <laughs> incredibly. It is just uh, a pair that really are strong favorites for this title. Let's be straightforward about things here. They are the number one in the world rankings, and for some reason, title after title after title in their short time together and you would say they are on a march here for a gold medal straightforward so far hasn't it been beating another japanese pair yesterday matsuo and nato in straight sets it's been straight sets all the way and maida and suetsuna are gonna have to go some to stop them making it another straight games victory here this afternoon in wembley Here are the Japanese pair. Very, very strong on the defensive, Suetsuna Maeda. Second in the world ranking now. They've gone up one place this week. They're the number three seeds. They yeah, lost in the quarterfinals at last year's World Championship, so they've gone a step forward. Not been in the best form of their year in recent months. They did win back to back in May. Been together a fair while now, these two. Finished fourth at the Olympics in 2008. Well, let's have a look and see uh, how they got here. As you can see, they had a bit of a struggle in the uh, third round, the last 16 against their compatriots, Misaki and Takahashi, but they bounced back 21-15, 21-17 in the final two. But that match, as you can see, took an hour and 36 minutes, and they just wore down Johari and Polly yesterday. Wearing down the Chinese pair, though, is going to be a, a different story for them. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a, a very, very different sort of match to the match that the Japanese pair played yesterday. So how do you stop Wu Young and Wang Xiali? Well, I don't know if the question can be answered. Susan Taylor is our umpire from Australia, Wojciech Kosowski is our service judge from Poland. You know, when, you, when they've only ever been beaten twice before, when they seem to win every tournament, they turn up, they, they, they hold a, a little symbol over the rest of the field, don't they, that says, you're not going to beat us. Yes, and, and what I like about this new Chinese combination is their attacking style. They're, they're very, very willing to be aggressive on court. They look for opportunities. They want to hit the shuttle hard, you know, and I think Wang Xiaoli has still got the hardest smash of this tournament yep. at 220. And as far as the Japanese pair, it's, you know, they tend to just want to defend, defend. But I think that the attacking play of the Chinese is simply too good and I think they'll break down the defense but that's the way the Japanese player plays so we're not I mean we can't really expect them to be 
tactically trying anything different, can we today? Well, yes, I think they, I think they should. I, I, I'm not sh sure that they but will, but, but I think they should. That's not playing to their strengths, though. Then is it? Um, yeah, but you've got to, you've got to say to yourself, you know, it's very similar to the to the men's singles we've just watched. You know, um, uh, Chen Jin was playing his A game, his normal game, and that simply isn't good enough to beat Li Chong Wei. He had to try and do something different from what he normally does. And you've got to look at this and you've got to say, OK, well, the Japanese, they love defending. That's their style of play. But are they going to win like that? So what's your choice? Play, play your normal game and lose, or do you try and do something different with the possibility of winning? Well, it's an uphill task, whoever faces these two. Wu Yang and Wang Xieli. Undestroyable, it uh, would seem. 11 tournaments, 10 finals, 8 titles. What more is there to be said? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ayuki Maeda, Satoko, Satsuna, Japan. championship finals because they played against each other a year ago in Paris. Well, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Attack, attack, attack. That's what we're going to see from these Chinese two. Fear in some respect for Maeda and so it's soon a hit. Yeah. I know we've only seen two rallies for Richard, but but it just it shows my point. You yeah. know, they can break down the defense because they're so good in attack. Wang Siali and Yu Yang. But I just feel that it's it, it's so hard for I, I I understand totally the point you're making, but it's so hard when you're a pair that's got as far as you've got by playing a certain way, which is you know that they're, they're now second in the world, and they've got to that position by playing the the way that to suddenly ch try and play something differently in in a semi-final of a world championship. It, it's a very tough ask. Yes, but I. I honestly believe that, you know, any athlete in individual sport or, you know, a pair in doubles, if you've only got one way of playing, you know, the whole point when you, you take on, you know, it's very different to golf where you're playing against the course and, and everybody's almost playing as individuals. Here you've got an opponent or a pair. Uh, you have to have different ways of playing. Depending on your opponent, if you only have one way of playing, of playing okay you know you can you can do well the thing about the chinese combination they're superb in attack but they're not shabby in defense either <laughs> they've they've got this variation they can change their tactics i see it as a real weakness in a badminton player if they don't have the capability of playing a different way of changing tactics well they got their first point there you can made it with the uh, winning so smash fun. Right now, this Japanese pair are the next best in the world. The problem is, there's quite a big gap, I think, between one and two. Well, when you look at tournament results, there's no question. You're absolutely right. <laughs> but, um, China have always been very, very strong in women's doubles. And I think uh, it really was a, a stroke of genius as far as the coaching staff were concerned to split the two pairs that played against each other at the last World Championship final. Of course, Yu Yang used to play with a player called Du Jing, with whom she also won gold in the Olympic Games. Look at that, you know, 
That is creative on defence. That's the sort of thing, if the Japanese pair are going to defend, why don't they try and do something with the shuttle? Yeah. They, they tend to just lift, lift, lift. Wang Xiaoli, creative there. She may have been on the defence, but she did something with it. They're soon on the attack again now, aren't they? And, and they work so well for each other, the two Chinese players. One moves forward, the other moves out. So Yu Yang's going to move forward here. Wang Xiaoli comes out. It's difficult to find the gaps when the players are rotating like that. Unmoving for an opponent, isn't it? Well, may have made the error, my Ada, but I like the way that they're. First one, she's just lifted. Second one, she's tried to steer and guide it back to the net. Hey! Yeah, this time it was one CL lead that moved forward, made the difference. better. for the Japanese bet. They have met twice before. And you won't be surprised to know it's two wins out of two for Wang and U, both in semi-finals, both in straight sets. <laughs> Fantastic. And it, and it may be as it looks like it's going to be a one-sided affair, but it's still pretty here to watch and relish, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, she's got such a powerful smash that opponents stay deep in their defensive stance and therefore they do become vulnerable to the drop shot. I don't understand that return of serve. All that clear. Just expand on that, Jill? Well, it's a nothing shot. You know, Morton Frost often talks about nothing shots. You're not getting any advantage. You're just extending the rally. You know, and, and I see badminton, especially doubles, is something you've got to go out and win. Now, the way they finished off that rally, involving the net player, is what the Japanese pair should be trying to do. So if at the start of the rally, you just allow the low serve to come to you and you just lift it to the back, what are, what are you hoping to achieve by that? You're not going to seize the initiative, are you? Not at all. So, so um, 11 4, interval. But it's interesting that, I mean, obviously, Ashwani Panaba and Joana Gutta are, are in the semi finals, but they're up against Tian and Zhao, and they are a pair that have actually. Been one of the rarities that have beaten Wang and Wu, so they should meet in the final tomorrow. They were, you know, at least we'll come in with the knowledge that okay, there's a pair here that are going to take on these two that might give them a run for their money. Yes, um, in fact, they've beaten them twice in the Asian Games final in Guangzhou at the end of last year. 
and also the first Super Series event of this year, the Malaysian Super Series. And I can tell you that both of those matches were sensational. Women's doubles, you know, seeing those two pairs play against each other and certainly, you know, in, in the year that I've been watching Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang play together, I honestly believe that there's real potential of them taking women's doubles to a whole new level. It's almost because, you, you know, men's doubles is so powerful, isn't it? And they've taken women's doubles to a, a similar kind of mode, haven't they? Yes. And, I mean, we, we did go through a stage where women's doubles did become very defensive. But pairs were uh, very happy to do and play the sort of style that the Japanese play. You know, just happy to defend, just extending the rallies you know, just try and wear down your opponents. And certainly from my perspective as, as a spectator enjoying watching the sport, I want to see something more dramatic. I want to see them really trying to go for winners and go for attacking play. And this is what the Chinese pair are prepared to do. And they do it very well as well. That's meat and drink. At this very early stage of the match, it seems like it's a question of time, doesn't it? Time, there was a powerful smash in that rally. 13, the Chinese five. pair involved their net player. Here we go, the final one finished off from Yu Yang. When they attack, they are so precise with their attacking play, or they hit the channel attack, which is down the center of the court in between their two opponents, which narrows the angle of reply. They're always working to get their net player involved. Now, I hope at some stage we will see the Japanese pair uh, trying to attack. But when they do, for certainly anyone that was with us yesterday and watched the Japanese pair playing against the Indonesians, they, they weren't smashing in the right place. They were just smashing at one player or another. And therefore, they weren't involved in the net play. In women's doubles, you can't really expect to hit winners from the back of the court. Most winners will come from the mid-court forward. So your entire purpose as you hit a shot from the back is to set it up for your partner to finish it off at the front of the court. And let me tell you, Jill knows what she's talking about. Number one in the world of both women's doubles and mixed doubles, 12 Commonwealth Games medals, a couple of bronzes in the World Championships as well. It wasn't a bad flick serve. Well, you won't be surprised to know, that, as, you, as you've already said, Wang Xie Li's got the uh, fastest smash so far this week in women's, which is 220. I think Wu Young's second fastest, isn't she? I think they're the top two on the list. They play together. glimpses of the Japanese pair 16, being prepared 16. to attack and hit down, but they don't stick with it. If it doesn't work initially, then they throw in the clear and give away the attack again. Yeah, I got the feeling when that they were encouraged to do so as well by their coaches at the interval, because straight after the interval, Maeda played a lovely shot across the net, and she looked round to the coaches as if, you know, affirmation of what she was told. But it's, uh, yeah, kind of disappeared since then.
Yeah, net player involved again. It's the placement of the smash there for New Young. Wang Xiao Li, so deceptive at the net. Look at this, she addresses the shuttle early. Looks as if she's just going to block it back to the net, to the centre, and then just at the last moment guides it to that mid-court area. Well, yeah, I, I, I say I, I, I have understood your sentiments about what the Japanese pair should try, but I think one way or another they're on hiding to nothing here. I don't think I, I honestly think whatever they try, I don't think it's going to work. But uh, I suppose the, the saying is, might as well go down with all guns blazing. They're not quite doing that. Now that's good. Oh, pity. Game points have arrived already. Oh, yeah, I've got ahead of myself there. What <laughs> to go? It won't be long, believe me. to these Chinese two. It's a formidable Sir, pairing. Yeah, simple. Yeah, that was a miss hit from Maeda. Is that game points now, Jim? Service over. <laughs> They make it look so easy, don't they? And that's because they're world class. Wu Yang and Wang Xiaoli striding to the final of this world championship. It was real class. 21 8, the formidable scoreline. Masterclass, you. Absolutely fantastic. I was looking at uh, those last couple of rallies and every time that the Japanese pair hit an attacking shot, the Chinese tried to do something with it to convert their defence back into attack. And that is the big, big difference between these two pairs because the Japanese are more than happy to defend, defend, defend. And they're not trying often enough to turn that defence into attacking play. It 
it's uh, unbelievable the way they play at such a level all the time. And it's credit to them that they are able to play at such an intensity and such a consistency as well, because a number of players you can see that can play that way but just can't do it every single time. Well, this match is only 16 minutes old. And for Suetsuna and Maeda, well, it's a lost cause, really. They won't obviously see it that way. They'll give it all in this next set. But if you look at any top sportsman, Joe, any, you know, in any sport, and they look, make it look so easy, whether it's a, you know, a, a Messi football or you know, Tiger when he was at the top of his game at golf, they, you know, world-class players make it look easy. Of course, it isn't. No. But they just seem to have so much time, you know, whether it be on the badminton court or whatever their field of play is. Yeah, that's right. And and that opening game, I mean, uh, I have to say I'm very excited about this new Chinese women's doubles pair. I really, I know I said it in the opening game, but they will take badminton. They're already taking women's doubles to a new level. But Tian and Zhao, that's a pretty new partnership as well, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And, and the two pairs like that, because, of course, every other pair in World Badminton now is going to look at uh, Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang and say, and perhaps the other Chinese pair as well, and say, well, you know, what are they doing different to us? Everybody will realise that they're far more attacking in their style and far more penetration with their attack, far more precise with their attack. And every other player in World Badminton and women's doubles is going to have to try and follow suit because, you know, playing the style of badminton that we've had for, you know, probably almost a decade of women's doubles will not survive against this. And Joana Guter and Ashwini Ponopo, surprisingly, are in the, in the semi-finals. They come into that mode, don't they, of attacking play? Definitely. And, and willing for the net player to take chances to intercept and really wanting to involve the net player, certainly with the Indian pair, as we'll see later on. It's Juala Gutta who really loves to go forward. She's absolutely brilliant at the net. Whereas this Chinese combination, both of them are very, very complete players. That's well wide. Yeah. It's uh, dispiriting. Set to see Maeda wasn't quite ready there. Oh, super. Yeah, there we go. Trying to do something with the defence. What a difference. And a nod of approval from. Uh, a partner, Maeda, as well. Yeah, so it's soon up. Instead of just lifting, beautiful play, turning the shuttle. helps there's not much of a drift but the drift there is does help on that side of the court yep good It 
So I'll keep knocking until you let me in. Like a boxer on the ropes here, isn't it? They should be pleased with that. And they, they, they've got to relish every point they win, haven't they, really? Yeah, but, but look how they're winning it. The channel attack involves the net player. The angle of reply is narrowed down, and mm -hmm. therefore there's a very good chance that the net player can get involved. They're not going to hit winners from the back of the court. I've said it's very hard for them to change their style here, but I suppose they would have looked at the draw in a, couple, a week or so ago, or two weeks ago now, and they'd have known that if they are going to get this far, there's a very good chance this is the pair they're going to meet. So I suppose they could have been working on things in training for a, what would seem to be a, a, an inevitable meeting. Yes, indeed. And as I alluded to before, I mean, I, I think it's a real weakness in a player that doesn't have more than one way of playing. It's in. There's a bonus for them there. They're actually leading in this game. They're just inside the line. <laughs> We're in front. I don't understand the Chinese pair here. All of a sudden, some clears going in. When you win the opening game 21-8, and you do so by all-out attack, I suppose possibly they're... Saving themselves? Well, maybe they tomorrow, maybe? No, I don't think they'd be doing that. I, but I think maybe uh, uh, they were so fast and um, so attacking in their style that maybe just a little bit uh, um, fatigued after the efforts of the opening game. So, you know, only 17 minutes to win that opening game. I mean, you really shouldn't be. Now, don't be too alarmed by that. She always wears that back support. It's not a new injury. Well, they've been stung here, haven't they? Wang Yanu. Right, and then Stuart Soon on a... Well, by far the best run of the game for them. It's five points in a row. Seven, yeah, but tactics have changed completely. This is good to see. But you know what happens when a classy pair like this is stung? They normally fight back and harder and better Five, than before. Seven. We'll see. Uh, 
disappointment from Suitsuna. singles Morton and I were talking about Lee Chong Wei's ability to just suddenly switch it on and almost just win points at will. I wonder if we're about to see the same here. Love the atmosphere in the Lee Chong Wei game though wasn't it? Wasn't oh, it? Super. Tremendous. And he's absolutely idolised. Four points of their own here, Wang and Eight, seven. And uh, status quo restored. do hunt the shuttle, the net player, whether it's Wang Xiao Li as this instance, or Yu Yang. Yu Yang's a fine mixed doubles player too. Silver medalist at the last World Championships in mixed doubles and bronze medalist in Beijing. On both occasions with her Han Bin. Yeah, last year, didn't you? You've done like seven titles, three different partners. She's out. Uh, Wonderful talent, Yu Yang. Thank you. Four years the senior of her women's doubles partner, Wang Xiaoli, who's got the shuttle. What we saw in that exchange there, the senior partner. Because Wang Xiaoli's not been to the Olympics before, so that will be a new experience for her next year. So she's in safe hands. Both went for it. Service over. Ten, eight. Hence the clash of rackets. Yeah. And another advantage for smashing down the centre of the court confuses your opponents. Nicely done from Suet Suna. Service over, 9 10. Maybe hard work physically 
that this is the way that the Japanese pair have got to play. Far, far more proactive, far more aggressive. and Suetsuna, but it's still the Chinese pair who have the slender lead here as we're in the interval of this second game. But it was uh, much better from Maeda and Suetsuna. They're giving it a match. Yeah, this is much better, much better play by the Japanese pair. Good aggression shown. They've got to be encouraged now, haven't they, to just carry that through. Whether it helps them live it up to a set of piece, well, never mind. Keep playing as you are, and at least you've got some hope. Yes. It's a hard work for them physically to play in this kind of changed way, but. They've given Liu Yang and Wang Xiaoli something to think about here. at her brilliant best. Thirteen ten. She's so creative. Well, China are always going to have someone representing them in the final after the first two matches. And mixed doubles in the women's singles, but heading for a third final hit. Shape of Wang and Oop. Yeah, that's good. Fourteen ten. The other contrast, I think that. Um, for those that were with us yesterday, you know, we were talking about the Indonesian women's doubles pair of Johari and Poli, and the fact that the net player, when they were playing, was very static. If you watch the Chinese pair now, whichever player is at the front of the court, look at the little movement there of Yu Yang. She didn't actually have to finish off the rally, but there's still just that little bit of 15. movement at the front of the court, looking for the shuttle. Credit was in it only once since they've been participating of China fell to take the women's doubles title in the World Championships. It's been wide. And they're striding ahead again. Yeah, 
as you mentioned, the only time they've not won the women's doubles. That was in Lausanne in 1995, when Gil young Ah and Jung hai -ok of Korea beat an Indonesian pair in the final. The Chinese not actually in the final of the women's doubles. I think that's the first time that that's ever happened. Service over, 11 16. Since they, of course, have been in World Badminton. She was right to play it. Yeah. She gave that a real thump, did Wang Xiaoli. Service over, 17, 11. Terrific smash. 227. Yeah, fastest of the week so far in the women's game, of course. Yeah, 142 miles per hour. Beats her own target, she said a few days back. That's worrying. We've already had one injury today, haven't we? Uh, for Marjin, of course. Yeah. As in the next doubles. An ankle injury. And then the uh, opening match was finished after this one set. They don't look too perturbed, do they? No, I think they'll be pretty happy by this performance so far, but they will be very concerned about Wang Xiaoli after that fantastic smash. Well, that wasn't too shabby either. I was just going to say, I wonder if that's, you know, she's going to lose a lot of power on her attacking play because that would be completely devastating. That one, not as quick, I'm sure, but uh, still very effective. Doesn't seem to be holding back too much. No. Yeah, nicely done. Many. I'm sure we'll guard that as a poor 13, error. 
Alicia Atsuna is joining you in the applause there. That was fabulous from Maeda. Yeah, it was a great rally and a sensational shot to end it. 15-18. What a difference when they're willing to go for adventurous shots. The Japanese pair. They're showing some good fighting spirit here. Two more points for a place in the final. Service over. One Nanu. 1915. Didn't doubt they wouldn't make it really, did we? the sheer power. Match points, of course. Match point Xiaoli, look an unstoppable force. They've just reached their 11th final in just 12 tournaments together. Comprehensive victory here against Maeda and Suetsuna. 21-8, 21-15. And it sets up the possibility of an all-Chinese final in the women's doubles. Classy from Wanganu. Oh, I suppose the only concern really is that, that you know whether there is a, a wrist problem after that big smash from Siali. Yeah, uh, although initially I was very concerned the way she finished the match, she was still smashing very. Uh, hard smashes uh, and I think it may have been more just of a caution but uh, very impressive. So as I say, it could set up an all Chinese final now with Tian and Zhao on later on today against Joana Guta and Ashwini Bonapa. But the favourites and the number one seeds have just sailed through to the women's double finals. Comprehensive display that really showed why they are regarded as head and shoulders above the rest. Thank you. 